I'm going to have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You had that third failure in a row. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, yep. always not doing the right thing and then one day you're an old man yep and you look back and go god i could have been great yep i could have been great take yourself out your comfort zone do not live in your bubble if you stay in your comfort zone that's where you will fail the the unfulfilled potential is the story of most people's lives it is it is it, and it could have been the story of mine and i tell a lot of people people go what's your biggest fear in life and my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this, let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not, I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big, long line of people. And I made to heaven, 75 years old, I'm 300 pounds, I made to heaven, I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line, you have, Adam Brown, he has a big board up, and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life. And you rip it down, and I'm next in line. David Goggins. I see my name, and I see all this shit, and God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. And I'm reading this list, and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? You see that look right there? Don't ever let a man see you like that. Did you give him the power over you? If you gotta take a L, you take it with your head up, chest out, like a man. Make the hard decisions, make the sacrifices, make the unpopular decisions, and become comfortable in your own skin. And if you are not a person that you are comfortable being alone with, that is the one person in this universe that you have full power full right, full responsibility to change. If you had to create a human, what would you put them through to make them tough? It probably wouldn't be a really chill life. Yeah. What would you put them through to make them patient? We probably wouldn't give them things immediately. And so it's like we want these traits, but each of the traits has a price tag attached to it. And it's just like, do you want to pay the price tag to get the thing? And so I think if, if people reframe the, the, the period of life that they're going through as the price that they're paying out of their wallet, but the wallet is their time, it's the seconds of life that they're trading for it, then I think more people will be willing to make the trade. Because at least when I look at myself, like when I'm 80 something years old, and I'm looking back at my life, I want to have these traits. But in order to have those traits, I know I have to go through these things. And I think for me, that's given me a lot of comfort in hard times. You love this. Why 
whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday. There was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. But always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years, you can make your dreams come true, you can build a financial wall around your family, nothing can get through, you can become healthy, you can become powerful, why not you? People don't see that, people would never understand that. To be success, you know, all they think about, well, you bet at 202, you know, and you struck out certain number of times yeah okay you know but the effort was there and the learning curve and the passion was there that has transcended not just to me but to other people who are afraid to do things because they're worried about the perception that may come from other places to me that's more gratifying uh, than anything you know uh, so that's the things that my father and my mother instilled in me, take a negative and turn it into a positive. Don't be afraid to fail. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Um, but life, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you.